action. All right. Hi, everybody. Uh, so we noticed from the rotisserie video that we posted uh, posted last week that one of the biggest questions we got from you is, well, why should I rotisserie grill? Why don't I just roast the chicken directly on the cooking grids? So the easy answer to it is this. Uh, you've probably heard the expression, move the heat, but not the meat. Grandma's famous turkey is famous because grandma keeps going into the drippings pan and basting those drippings back on top of the turkey. She's taking the moisture that's actually falling off the turkey, she's recollecting it, she's putting it back on top, and that helps it get that perfect golden crispy skin. If you just take a chicken and you put it flat on the cooking grids and you start roasting it with indirect heat, it'll cook, it'll get to the right doneness temperature. But you probably oiled it when you started, so that oil runs away first, and then the chicken fat renders, and then the oil from that and the moisture that's near the skin, it runs away second. Once it's gone, it's gone. That skin starts to dry out and it takes on a rubbery texture because there's enough moisture behind it to keep it a little bit moist, but it gets kind of rubbery and leathery. So if you want that perfect crispy skin, you gotta keep basting it. You can baste it with the turkey baster, that's probably the most common. You can actually use a marinade injector, fill it up with juices and just kind of baste it on top. You can come back out with an oil sprayer and spray it on there. But why go through all that extra work? On a rotisserie, the chicken roll base in its own juices. Sure, you can baste it to add flavor, which is what we did. We added flavor by adding layers of flavor on top. But otherwise, it just sits there and rolls in its own juices. As that rotisserie spins, any of the juice that comes out of the chicken, any of the juice that comes from the skin, any of the oil that's already there, it rolls around the outside constantly as it's cooking to end up perfect, golden brown, even skin all the way around the outside. So you get some crispy skin on the bottom and crispy skin on the top because there is no top or bottom or side. It's constantly rolling and you end up with the perfect chicken. And as it's spinning, it's also tenderizing too. That rotisserie is helping it move. It wiggles back and forth just a little bit as it goes and that tenderizes the meat. So you can just slap a chicken right on the cooking grids and cook it, but if you've got a rotisserie, why? Roast it on the rotisserie. It's the best experience that you're gonna get for roasted chicken, roasted prime rib, roasted leg of lamb, uh, stuffed pork loin, anything that's big. Put it on a rotisserie, it's just, it's just easier. Anyway, if you've got any more questions, just ask us. Reach out to us on social media anytime or email us at royalkingbbq.com. Thanks.